So before we get started talking about the tools that we're going to be using to create our project and our shapes, uh, I'm going to talk to you about something that's very important to understand uh, just sort of the philosophy and the concept behind uh, geometry and that is uh, w w when we get into talking about components and what, what, what does that all actually mean. So uh, we discussed how we can go into this menu and you know there are some some default primitives that's uh, Maya terminology or 3D terminology for uh, something that's uh, got volume to it basically so uh, you know you can create soccer ball or pipes or whatever uh, we're just gonna keep this uh, simple and use a cube so we have a cube on the screen and we can see that up here because we have our heads up display on turned on uh, it's giving us a breakdown of uh, some of the different components so we know right away that there's more going on here than and then just uh, you know a simple geometry cube geometric cube we've got uh, what are called for vertices which are if I go right click over the object and move my mouse over vertex I now can uh, select and and move you can see the uh, manipulator which was previously associated to the object is now uh, oriented and aligned to whatever I've selected so because I'm in vertex mode it's going to put the ver the uh, manipulator either on the individual vertex or split the difference between the multiple vertices that are selected so I can now just pull out push in whichever you know action I want to uh, form to deform the geometry I can do that now uh, by just pushing and pulling vertices and same goes with the other edge the other modes you know edge mode gives me the um, highlights of the various surface edges uh, which are basically uh, two points connected and it's a straight line you know always an individual uh, edge is just composed of uh, the the two connecting vertices so I can scale an edge you know I can rotate an edge whatever there's many things you can do but um, and then same goes with the face mode so now I'm in face mode and you know oftentimes uh, you'll be uh, building on to an object and you'll need to say extrude uh, from a specific face so let's say you know I wanted to give this a little bit of a of a shape to it and then we go up to our extrude button on our shelf and now I can either pull on the manipulator or now I've got this fun little um, interface UI here that I can mess with so I could just hit G now if I was happy with that and I hit G it would repeat G is repeat the last command so it would do another extrude from this top face because it's selected so if I do it now see I can continue to you know shape and I can now I could leave that go off and start you know rotating and defining what what I'm building so um, it's still a very simple object here but you know it started from a cube basically which is uh, how we're going to start our project so uh, just wanted to give you a very simple quick video I'm going to cut it short but I just wanted to keep, keep quick simple demonstration of just how uh, important and um, uh, knowing the uh, definitions and, and sort of the basics of different components 
and how that uh, you can really just get going building in 3D by uh, getting comfortable with swapping between these modes. And just uh, one last thing, if you are, if you prefer to just use your keyboard for the swapping between the modes as opposed to this radial menu, you can do that too. It's F9 for vertex, F10 for edge mode, and F11 for faces. There are other modes. There's this multi-mode, which is, you know, uh, sort of uh, self-explanatory. It gives you uh, one mode to select every type of component. And then there's this vertex face mode, which sort of blows up your model so that you can look inside and sort of useful for optimization. And then UV mode, which you don't need in the 3D viewport, but you will need it when we get on to texturing. So that is it. That's the object, Maya's object and component mode. In our next video, we'll start talking about uh, building out a shelf for our most uh, commonly used modeling tools. So I'll see you in the next video.